the lovely humans of Earth. Um, and one of you from Venus. Somebody told me. Can't remember who at the moment, but... Anyway. Hello to you, too. We had the Rick and Gervais Show, Season 2, Episode 6, Kidneys. Now, I've had a bad couple of days, so I could use a, a pick-me-up. And when I think pick-me-up, I think Carl. <laughs> because, I mean, the, the man is so fabulously brilliant. I mean, he can just pull you out of the worst mood ever and make you laugh until your stomach hurts. And I love that, and I need that, and I want that. <laughs> So let's just watch. Um, kidneys. I, I was I was gonna try to make sense of it, but no point. No stinking point. So let's just freaking go. Yeah. What's been going on? What's been going on? I've been to hospital. I was rushed to hospital. Right, emergency and that. I had a uh, tube put on my knob. You had a tube put up your knob. Yeah. I had a uh, tube put on my knob. You had a tube put up your knob. Yeah. What was the story? Uh, kidney stones. Oof. So, shouldn't really be here, to be honest, doing this. He said rest. No. Climbing them stairs on the way in. Is to be just... quite honest, it doesn't look like you're expending a lot of energy at the moment. It's it's like at Zuki, we're going, all oh, that sloth move today. Calm down. Yeah, but I had to get here. It's been raining. Yeah. I had to come up the stairs. I had to carry the computer. Yeah. Well, that's not entirely true, because your girlfriend was carrying it, I saw her outside. Yeah, but, but I'm just saying... And then, oh. you, and then you handed it to me and said, Steve, God carry this. God almighty. So. Yeah, I know. That's already a lie. Christ <laughs> almighty. Whinging. Not whinging. What? I'm in show business. I know loads of people that wake up every day with a sore knob, feeling like they've had their kidneys probed, and they, they you know, they would say they're unconscious. I know. So they yeah. don't whinge about it, they Why get straight you know? back onto it. They, you know, <laughs> a lot of them are on TV now. Yeah, straight back to hosting game shows. <laughs> That's a jab at, but I could tell it was a good one, and I imagine a lot of you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, you rushed to hospital. So, tell take us through the take us through the events because it does sound quite dramatic. You started feeling a bit of pain, did you initially? I felt a bit of pain, and I thought, you know, yeah, maybe I just pulled a muscle or something when I've been wrestling with Ricky and that because mm. you don't know what damage has been done. <laughs> Uh, so I just think, oh, it'll go in a minute, and then it didn't. It got a bit badder. It didn't. Did, it got badder, did it? So then I thought, I, I, oh, I, I was I was crippled. I was lying oh. on the floor in agony, oh. looking on the internet, looking for a sort of still solutions. looking at monkey news. No, right. <laughs> I was just I just put in like belly ache and stuff, and they were saying me loads of different things. Um, and I, what I used to do when I was a kid, I used to always just get a cold ashtray and put that on my belly. And the coldness used to get rid of the badness. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing indeed. The coldness used to get rid of the badness. When my stomach hurts for whatever reason, uh, cold will make it worse. I need heat. Warmth makes my... So that, 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 that's just weird to me. I don't know if this is a thing that half the people cold helps and half the people warmth helps, or it's just Carl's crazy or what. But, yeah, totally the opposite with me. The gold has got... Well, what? Like, like a witch doctor. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This, this, this is like... A witch doctor who happens to work in a pub. It's like a, some sort of 5th century remedy yeah. written in mud. Yeah. Coldness <laughs> doth get away with the badness. Yeah. Uh, Why specifically an ashtray? Just because they were at this sort of old cold. <laughs> <laughs> They're old I cold. Do, but... I don't know. He's, I love this idea that he's, he, uh, he's uh, had the operation and he comes round and they're talking to him and uh, his, his girlfriend gets a phone call and, go, and, and they say, uh, Mr Pilkerton's it's got maybe complications, he's just talking rubbish. <laughs> yeah, she goes, oh, good. Yeah, he's back to his old self. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, 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 is it, why specifically an ashtray? Sorry, because it's old cold. I understand it's old cold. Oh, yeah, we understand. We, every, <laughs> everyone who's done a medical degree understands old cold, but... but uh, <laughs> <laughs> old, yeah. old cold belly badness. <laughs> if you want to buy that book, old cold belly badness. It's uh, uh, the, the yeah. history of abdominal surgery by Carl Pilkington. No, it just, you know, it, if, so. If but you, you put it in the freezer or something first. You can do if you want, but they're normally cold anyway. <laughs> sort of thick glass, and that holds the cold. But we're not smoking our house, so I had to use a plate. <laughs> I 
get it. I get it. <laughs> That's less confusing. All right. That kind of makes sense, I guess. But, um, wow. Okay, 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 okay. Got it. Something for us to come do if you want, but they're normally cold anyway. <laughs> sort of thick glass and that holds the cold. But we're not smoking our house, so I had to use a plate. <laughs> Well, that's mad. It's a plate's not going to work. A pla Famously, a plate oh doesn't God, work. No. Oh, God, no! So you put a, 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 a you put a plate on your belly, but that didn't yeah, do any. No, that, that yeah. didn't work. So uh, called Suzanne and said, "Oh, I'm in agony here." She said, "Go to the doctor's then." Good advice. So a lot of people have done that straight away, as opposed <laughs> to going through the plate <laughs> ashtray. <laughs> so he went to hospital, and he went to hospital. And he said, "Have you got an ashtray?" This is no smoking. <laughs> so anyway, so then we get in a cab and what have you. Go there. I have an X-ray. His voice is even more boring than usual. It's extraordinary, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Fuck me. And they put me on a drip and everything. Give me some morphine and stuff. And found out that I had kidney stones. So that's why I was in hospital. And they get them out by. I can't even. I don't know what's gone on, to be honest. Oh, Come I've on. got some tube inside me from my kidney to my bladder. That's helping me stuff get about. That's... And so there's a little tube up the end of your knob into your. Yeah, it's not there now. It's right. It's high up. Right. So it's high up between my kidney and my bladder. But why didn't you have the thing where they go in the side? You had the choice to... Because I said to the doctor, I said, I'm not a doctor. I said, what do you <laughs> he think... He went, stop putting yourself down, <laughs> Carl. He said, we need you in the operating <laughs> theatre now. He just said, you know, I said to him, what, what should I have done? Because he said, if you want, go home um, and we'll get you in again or something. Oh, uh, something very, like that. Very, very I... professional. <laughs> what? That's how the doctors are in Argentina. Straight up. Straight up. So, but I would imagine that wasn't the case. Said, no, I'll get you in again or something. Legit. Uh, something like that. And I said, no, I might as well have it done properly. Have it done now whilst I'm here. Sorry, the choice was have it done properly or go home. It was it was something like that. He said, he said there's, there's something you can do. And I said, oh. Flush it out. Um, no, because it's too big. It's something like seven millimetres. And it was, it's basically because you don't drink enough water. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, I said, what do you think I should have done? And he said, tube up the knob. And I said, mm, not my favourite one of the choice, but if, you, if that's what you think. So he said, yeah, have that. He did me little diagrams, which didn't help. <laughs> he was, like, showing... How big like, did he draw your knob? Uh, sort of normal size. Yeah, was yeah, it? It was all right. You weren't offended by uh, them? Well, you want it into detail. It's just, you know, more the tube and stuff and your yeah. bladder and your kidney. What was your ball bag like? Did he draw that? He didn't did... do that bit. He left that bit out. OK, right. But, um, but he said, <laughs> oh, we'll just pop that up there. And uh, and then that's when Ricky turned up to visit. He uh, came in laughing at me because we was sat there in, like, me underpants and stockings. <laughs> In yeah, stockings? Yeah, yeah. Why were you He was there. No, he wasn't in bed. He was sort of out of bed with his little drip, right? He had his little boxer shorts on, just sat there, right, in his pants, right? And he had stockings on. Yeah, because they stop clots or something. They put them on your legs. It's like, you know, when people have got big veins and they go on a plane. Right, yeah. uh, You said you're not a doctor. <laughs> no, but I've I've seen it because Suzanne's mum did it, and it was she put them on ridiculously early, like three days before we were going away. And <laughs> she'd never been away before, and everything was like over the top. Do you know what I mean? She's like, I best put them on. And, uh, so so I put them on, and they like I don't know what it is. It's something when you're in, when you're under, your blood doesn't move about the same, right? And it can clot up in your leg. So you wear these tight tights. And I came in to cheer him up, didn't I? Yeah. Was that a nice cheery experience, him coming in? Uh, I had a headache at the time. I think he was a bit stressed out. <laughs> well, he's uh, just a man you want at that, at that point. Yeah. Uh, well, it, it's weird how it suddenly all happened quick. And uh, I woke up and there was an Irish woman over me going, are you all right? Are you all right? And I said, oh, it's stinging a bit. She said, I'll give you some more morphine. And I sort of put my head up to have a look at my tackle because I wanted to see... If it was still there. ..what, what was attached to it. Do you know what I mean? Because they said something about they might leave some string hanging out of it. So they can pull the tube out. It makes you talk. So, uh, <laughs> so I, had a, I had a look for that. Couldn't couldn't see any of that. Yeah. Uh, but as you put the morphine in, all the muscles in your body go funny. My head just collapsed. <laughs> 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 you 
Oh. But I'm in agony now. And uh, are you in agony right now as we speak? Yeah, certain. Uh, but it does make you think now. Do you know what I mean? Like life and everything. Drink more water. I mean, it's weird how it's all happened in the last month from seeing that bee sort of die. No, no, well, not really. No, you, no, 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 no. This is not a near-death experience. It is you a had a routine bit. operation to remove kidney stones because you don't drink enough water. This is barely an experience. No, I know, but water. this is not a to remove kidney stones because you don't drink enough water. water. No, I know, but this water. is not a shark attack. Yeah, but it's all it's all uh, life-threatening. Otherwise, you wouldn't have to fill out forms, would you? Saying if everything goes wrong, Suzanne can have the house or whatever. They yeah, keep taking like... your heartbeats and stuff, mm. and your blood pressure. I don't like knowing about that. I just like leave it. It's happening. Don't be messing with it. Stop measuring it. <laughs> Stop measuring it. No, do you know what that's I mean? Same with it's, the knob. It's, it's that thing of, <laughs> of like they put that. Thing that's on. what the anaesthetist was doing when you were under, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. He was comparing the diagram to the actual thing. Oh God. <laughs> what is the closest thing? Sort of living. That's nothing. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> what? What's like the closest? Like, do you know, at riddle? some point, something's gone from nothing to something, hasn't it? No, I don't. No, I don't understand what you mean. Do you mean what is the 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 first and lowest and most primitive and most simple form of life? No, he's so, right here in this room, Rick. <laughs> say, say, like when you look at a, a stick insect, right? You go right. There's a slight crossover there from a stick to a living thing. No, it's not. It didn't used to be a no, stick. No, 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 no. It's not. There's no. There's no. There's no biological relationship between it and a stick. But there, there isn't much difference between the two. Is what I mean. Of course there is. It's a huge there isn't. Difference. They just they just sit there looking like a stick. That's their skill. Yes, but there's nothing to do with being a stick. It's, it's like camouflage. That's like saying when a soldier puts on combat gear, you go, you're saying he's a cross between a human and a shrub. <laughs> what I'm saying is, have you seen them weird things that just look like... They, they, they sort of look like a leaf. Yeah, there are insects that, look, that, that have evolved to look like a leaf. At some it. point, something has had it away with a leaf. No! What? At no point has something had it away with a leaf. No, to make it look that much like no. a leaf. <laughs> no! no. <laughs> At no point did a beetle shag a leaf. It's superficial. It's the way it looks. That's all it... it that's like saying chameleons must have mated with green once. They are green. No, but It what, looks like a leaf. But then how does it meet... How... Green once. That's all it, it... That's like saying chameleons must have mated with green. way it looks. Oh, I thought, he, I thought he said comedians. I was like, why are comedians green? What? I was... OK, chameleons. Ah. That's all it, it... That's like saying chameleons must have mated with green once. They are green. No, but It what, looks like a leaf. But then how does it meet... How does it have relationships? It will be going around sort of having it away with a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> no, it won't, cos it doesn't know what it looks like. It doesn't matter. It's not like they, uh, it, 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 you know, um, a stick insect will be talking to a stick for ages and go, oh, I've wasted my time here. <laughs> This club's dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rude. I was chatting to her. She... This uh, club's dead. <laughs> very a bug's life when when Flick goes into the city and they have a little... It looks a lot like that with Cinder Block, everything. Yeah. <laughs> Rude. I was chatting to her. She was foxy, but she was giving me nothing. But, Dave, that's that's not a stick insect. That's a stick. What? What are you talking about? That's a stick. You've been talking to a stick all night. I, thought, oh, I can't believe it. I just thought she had a great, slim figure. No, no, it's actually a real stick. Well, I've been watching birds more than insects recently. Oh, in, OK, in you moved last, on from In insects. the last week, just because so, I've sort of looked at the ant and the bee and that. And Done. Next. What I've found with pigeons is they've got wings, yet they walk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that, I'd love that to be a thesis, where he got, like, a, a half a million pounds grant from a university, and I said, well, Pilkington seems to... He's done ants and he's done bees. Um, he's, he's followed ants. <laughs> Apparently, they're not doing anything. Some of them are lazy. Um, he, we are granting him another uh, half a million pounds. Um, he's been working on it for a year. Um, please welcome Carl Pilkington. <laughs> Carl, what have you found? <laughs> well, even though pigeons have wings, they walk a lot. Dude, but he has a point. This, this one bothers me. This one pisses me off because... Um... I used to live in, in 
in California, near LA or whatever. And over there, everywhere, absolutely everywhere on the streets and every, just every tree had squirrels. Squirrels were like, they weren't a problem. It wasn't like they were pests or anything, but they were everywhere. And they were freaking adorable. And people, you know, give them peanuts or, you know, seeds or whatever. But it was very common. And when I moved to Argentina, no squirrels, not one. I don't think they exist here. Like, and any the country's a it's a big country, but I've never seen, I've never talked to anyone that has seen a squirrel. So, I don't think they exist here. But, 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 but the like the replacement for squirrels are pigeons. They're absolutely freaking everywhere. Actually, if you go out, um, in like the main city, in Buenos Aires in Argentina, it looks a lot like New York. Like I've seen films and stuff. I've never been to New York, but I've seen a lot of movies and things, especially like from the early 90s. Like the other day I was watching Crocodile Dundee and he was walking around, you know, in, in, in New York City and there was like a park and he was going into the subway. And it legit looks exactly like Argentina. Exactly. Um, anyway, so there's pigeons everywhere, just like New York. And there's pigeons absolutely freaking everywhere. And when you drive in a freaking car and there are pigeons on the road, they do not get up and fly away. They start walking away from the car that's like freaking driving right towards them. And it's so frustrating. And I've, I've actually seen, oh, with my beady eyes, I've, I've seen pigeons get run over and it's horrible. And it's exactly that, dude, you had the ability to freaking fly away before the car came anywhere close. And they decided to, like, walk away. Maybe, maybe if it's a, a smart pigeon, it will try to run away. But they don't fly away. And, I mean, I, it, it just bothers me because if you go out and <laughs> you walk 10 blocks. Every 10 blocks, there is a pigeon on the streets squished beyond recognizable it's just like the thinnest layer of there's not even guts anymore it's just it's it's feathers and you know that a pigeon died there that's it but um it bothers me dude because i mean just freaking fly anyway thank you for coming to my ted talk <laughs> well even though pigeons have wings they walk a lot Everyone, every pigeon that I've seen got ran over. It was because it was walking. It it was it wasn't even what it was. It was dawdling. Is that a word? Just like chilling. Anyway. Well, I heard, uh, and you told me this, so I know it's true. What? Do you know when I talked about replacing blood with coconut? Uh, coconut. What was it? Well, milk. one, it, it said uh, um, coconut milk can be used. Uh, as as plasma, but yeah. I haven't had that verified because it's off one of those websites where there are spurious facts. Uh, but what do you think of that, Steve? I, I mean, I've sort of touched on it. But I've just got to echo what Ricky said. I I can't have an opinion unless it's been verified. But why why aren't you just being open minded enough to go well? Uh, well no no no. But that's it's not, not being open minded. Open minded isn't uh, believing everything you hear. Do you don't believe everything you read, dear? That's not what he's saying. He's saying if if you can consider it, what do you think about it? He's not saying believe it because you've read it. That's not that he's so misunderstood. My poor Carl. <laughs> he just doesn't. He has such difficulty expressing himself. Poor thing. Um, a lot of it, a lot of stuff. You kind of go, well, that's that's interesting. To but what we talked about this. What about Noah's Ark? What about it? Well. You know, you said you believed it because it's in book form, but uh, according to that, uh, didn't he get two of every species on a big boat? But we, but we know that's impossible, don't we? Um, depends where he was. If he was above a zoo, there would have been a lot of different stuff knocking about. That's my only problem. What I'm saying is, where was he floating where he could get an elephant, a giraffe, a cat, a dog, Not a gerbil? Her. Where were all these things floating about? Well, exactly. Right, that's, these, that's these Old Testament downfall. zoos, they were quite Yeah, yeah quite but big, exactly, really. but, you're, but you're, you're right, you're questioning it. They're, 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 how is it possible? But I've just said, a zoo. There's no zoo that has got 1% of all animal species. Well, I don't know where he got them from, then. There's a couple of million species of animal. So cute. And how did he round these animals up? Because they were drowning, so they were, they were looking for any boat. 
So they were looking, they were actively seeking out an ark. <laughs> well, they, they would have just been looking for anything to get hold of. Yeah, and where did he keep them all? How did he keep them all separate? How did he... At that point... Oh, you... no, the uh, lions at the otter. No, because at that point, it's, it's that thing, in it of how you all pull together in a, in a bad situation. talk shit. You all chip in, they're all like, oh, God, <laughs> you know, let's be nice to our neighbours. Right, so there's spiders talking to flies and... Well, they, they would have just gone elsewhere, wouldn't they? They what do you mean? On another bit of the boat. The spiders don't have to knock about the lions just because they're all in it together. I think I've seen several spiders drawn on the show already and they never get the amount of eyes right. Isn't it six eyes, eight legs? Spiders? Isn't that how that is? I'm going to Google it. Sorry. Because now I'm curious. Because I always see and I always feel like they got the wrong numbers on it. And they're never the same too. <laughs> do boss have eyes? <laughs> How many eyes did Spider have? No, I didn't want to see pictures! <laughs> oh, that was bad. No, okay. No, no pictures. Spiders usually have eight eyes. Some have six or fewer. But do you have good eyesight? Okay, they can have, they can have. Oh, God, I regret this. Okay. Okay, okay. They can have several different amount of eyes. Nice. <laughs> And they what do you mean? Another no. bit of the boat. The spiders don't have to knock about the lions just because they're all in it together. They get their own little area, don't they? Well, I don't know. How big is this boat? How it's big? big. It's big. It's a big boat. Uh, how long? What was the warning he got from God to make it? I don't know. It was a couple of weeks. Yeah. Two to... of every species, Carl. How big would this boat have to be? Yeah, it's big. So big you can't just keep saying it's big because I know in your mind you're imagining this ark there's a boat with Noah up the front with his wife two giraffes behind him their necks there two yeah. elephants and it just and and it's just like it's just like elephant giraffe hippo dog cat weasel couple of frogs and a I spider talking to a fly going yeah. let's get on but when we're off here you're dead but what would you have done then would you are you saying that you wouldn't get on there because it's too noisy it's not a question of what it didn't happen. Done. It didn't happen. To be honest, I'm not bothered. And they got through it, didn't they? <laughs> they got through it. They're here now. We're not short of them. If anything, like I said, There's he didn't do us a favour because he saved too much. You can't move out there for stuff. <laughs> <laughs> How did he go also... <laughs> How did he go from what the problem was, it's too noisy, like, what? To what? <sighs> I love him. Oh, chimpanzee, that thing's running down and dead. Jesus, okay. That's the jiggle for uh, excerpts I like, from... I like how not even Stephen likes it, and it's always different. He's like, every time he mentions it, he's like, yeah, that's, that, that's the jingle. Uh-huh, sure. Like the way he says it. That's the jiggle for uh, excerpts from Carl's diary. This is all uh, legitimate stuff. Ricky and I have had no input in this. This is the first time we get to read it. Went and did some shopping for stuff as it was my turn. Suzanne moaned a bit because I forgot orange juice and bought some cheap toilet paper. She always buys the expensive toilet paper. I don't know why they make toilet paper with pretty patterns on it. <laughs> that made it into the diary. Uh, uh, up and out at nine o'clock to go to the Cotswolds. Now, I think this was a gift for your girlfriend, wasn't it, for her yeah, birthday? It was you a went birthday to the Cotswolds. Yeah, so I just went for one night. Got the car and headed off. We found the B and B, but they wouldn't let us in the room because we were early. We went for a walk. <laughs> there was not much around the B and B, so we had a quick walk around the car park <laughs> and went back in. Happy birthday! <laughs> the room was now ready. It's an all right room. Free biscuits, so I ate them straight away. <laughs> like a child, like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> he runs in, jumps on the bed. No, no, no! Oh, 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 oh. Get off the bed. Not on the furniture. <laughs> The room overlooked the car park that we'd already been round. <laughs> <laughs> You're staring at that window. Remember when we went there? <laughs> we'll always have the car park. Oh, yeah. Good time. Oh, God. <laughs> the room had posh coat hangers in the wardrobe with sponge on them. <laughs> so I ate the sponge. <laughs> Don't think they are needed. <laughs> um, we went and booked a table for Sunday dinner. I had beef. It was nice enough, but there was a family of 13 behind us. I don't see the point in going out in large numbers. They annoyed me. One of the family asked for sorbet before his next course. He was only about 11. He thought he was it. <laughs> 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 
I said to Suzanne, I've had enough and needed a kip. Watch Planet Earth on BBC One. They filmed a panda for four weeks and all it did was sit in its cave. It did nout. If I was Fiat, I wouldn't name one of my cars after them as it suggests it won't work or go very far. It'd be like bringing out a Ford Sloth. No one would buy it. <laughs> a Ford Sloth! I would love that ad campaign! Oh, that's amazing! Oh, God! The new Vauxhall Slug. <laughs> <laughs> we had a look around the local village. There wasn't much to it. We did the usual thing and had a look around the church graveyard to see how old the dead people are. <laughs> so, Su Suzanne's had a hell of a time so far. She's gone to the Cotswolds, the room wasn't ready, she's seen the car park, and they let's go and play how old the dead people are. Well, I like the fact that you mentioned we did the usual thing of having a look around the church graveyard. Do you make her do that's, that every time you, you go do, away? It? It I like the fact. I want to know what she did for two hours when you slept. She just looked out at the car park, just like, memories. <laughs> well, that's, that's what you do, though, isn't it, when you go to these places? There's nothing else, unless you want fudge. <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> you know, you, you walk around the church graveyard and, <laughs> and have a look. Like it's nothing. Fudge. We went home. It took three hours to drive back. People say they go to the country to see the wildlife. I saw rabbits, pheasants and a fox on the way home. They were all dead in the road. <laughs> Talking, I was just intrigued to know because Rob from Burton on Trent uh, has sent this in and he wants to know that because he's just started seeing someone and he wants to know what your advice, Carl, is on how to keep her happy. So, what's your sort of your advice really for someone who's perhaps just started a relationship? I, don't, I, I mean, you've been with Suzanne for what nine years? Ages. Mm. I think you should just do what you want and then if they like it, then they're the right ones for you. Mm. So, don't, don't go out of your way too much. I mean, I got the posh badge for a birthday. Uh, that's once a year. Uh, rest of the time, it's kind of like, you know, I, I I like weird stuff. I like watching weird stuff and all that. Um, now and again, I won't make her watch it. I'll, I'll tape it. <laughs> <laughs> it's an amazing advice. But sometimes... This is amazing advice. Sometimes you just say, no, come on, the bloke with the two heads on, I want to watch it live. Uh, <laughs> So give and take is what you're saying there. That's all. It's, it's, it shouldn't be hard. As soon as it's hard, it's not right. So just uh, just go about your business. See if she joins in. Dude. Woke up to... Unbelievably, in spectacular Carl fashion, he has a point. I mean, no need to change yourself for somebody, so... He has a point. <laughs> He, it's just the the way he says it and the things he chooses to say about it. It's just ridiculous. But he has a point. I'm, and uh, did they say nine years or something like that? And then I think in an idiot abroad or somewhere I heard seventeen years or something like that. And I guess they're still together. So I mean, the guy has a point. It totally worked. To the Commonwealth, get just go about your business. See if she joins in. <laughs> Woke up to the Commonwealth Games on the radio. Now, what you're making of the Commonwealth Games? Is that something that interests you? Are you a sports I fan? Um, I, I'm not really. It just seems to be sort of wasted. If people are running fast, use it. Do you know what I mean? Rather than just trying to beat your own record or someone else's, do something where you do have to run. If you're a good swimmer, be a lifeguard. Don't be messing about going up and down. I was swimming recently. I do a lot of swimming, and I've never quite mastered my front crawl. It's never quite nailed the breathing because it's quite tricky, isn't it? You know, you, well, yeah. you've got to breathe at the right moment. And um, so I'm in the swimming pool in the local gym, and there's a guy bombing up and down, really doing a great forward stroke. So I uh, waited till he came up and sort of went, uh, <laughs> Excuse me, mate. Um, <clears throat> I was just watching you when you were doing your front crawl. I was really impressed. Could you just watch me? When I do mine, and tell me if I'm going wrong. Why would you go to a man? I know, and that was what I. Th that was the problem. Is only as I was saying it did I realise what it sounded like. Right. I've just been watching you yeah. swimming up and down. I was really and, impressed. And you're both in speedos. <laughs> both in speedos. You know, I'm. I'm got the goggles on, um, prescription goggles, so that I can see when I'm, when I'm swimming. But why do you need them? There's nothing in a pill to look at. It's not like you're scuba diving. 
There's well, nothing. Just... On. Clearly, there is something to look at in a pool. Well, no, I wasn't. I wasn't check. Well, I was <laughs> checking him out, but I was checking him out for for swimming Skill. tips. Skill and, and he just mm. looked at me when I asked him, "Can you just watch me and offer me any tips?" And he Steve, just looked at me like I was just that's, mental. That is a, such a strange thing to say. Can you just watch? I don't know how you had the nerve to do that. Well, I, it was innocently motivated. Well, I know it's innocent, but what a strange thing to go up to someone. And... But what with the civilization we're living in, where we can't just ask our fellow man to help us out with our forward crawl. But we're in a society where we can't. But you know that. It's a strange thing to say. But, I, but sometimes it's nice to just think, no, do you know what? I'm not going to fall into the trap of I thinking agree. he's immediately going to think I'm gay or but, that I'm chatting him up. I'm just going to ask him to do me a favour. There's nothing wrong with that. What if he said, yeah, it's just good, yeah. Um, do you mind coming at me with um, my plastering? But it's not the... No, see, I, I'm, t I'm, I'm, with, I'm with Stephen on this. I mean... Honestly, honestly, me personally, I didn't even think it was weird until they started kind of talking about it being weird. Like, it's fun, especially like in a pool. I mean, sure. I, I don't know why people have to make the simplest things weird. Also, there's like a thing in girl world. Um, where... <laughs> I don't even know how to explain this, but, um... <laughs> I'm thinking, because I know a lot of you aren't girls. Uh, but there's a thing in girl world where if, if, even if it's a stranger and you ask a certain favor, check me out on my outfit or something, you know, I'm not going to get too explicit or anything, because there's no point. But, you know, it's, it's... If you say, hey, can you check me out and make sure I'm okay, you know, dress or whatever, um, it's totally normal. And, 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 you know, in girl world, it's I, no one will ever say no. It's, of course, go walk over there and I'll check you out. It's, it's, and apparently, if a guy does that to a guy, it's like mega weird. Um, like, that was, that was fine to me. I, I don't. I don't know why you guys gotta make it weird. It was it was normal. It's just help me learn. It's not even bad. That's just good, yeah. Um, you... also it was like a compliment to this guy. It was like, dude, you do that really well, and I want to too. So can you teach me how to do it as well as you? I mean, it's not a bad thing. Do me a favor. There's right. nothing wrong with that. What if he said, yeah, it's just good, yeah. Um, do you mind coming at me with um, my plastering? But it's not the same. He's in the swimming pool. He's yeah. there in the pool. He's swimming up and down. He's you know, yeah. he's not no. He always has to make things weird. Also, he had to mention that they were in speedos. Yeah, they're in the pool. I mean, he, he always has to go to a weird place with it. And like, I don't know. I don't know why he has to try to make people feel uncomfortable about just normal things. I mean, fine. Skin off his nose to just offer a bit of kindly advice. If your car's broken down in the in the middle of nowhere and someone drives by, you know, it's a generous thing to do. Just stop and maybe look under the bonnet and help them out. I agree, but I don't see how it's any different. And in the end, he did, and all he asked was that I wake him off. <laughs> Wait, what? And in the end, he did, and all he asked was that I wake him off. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I want to see the last scene. I want to see Carl's face. <laughs> Just nothingness. <laughs> Just normal Carlness. Also, poor thing in agony. Um. All right. <laughs> These are always great to make you feel better. I mean, they're always pick-me-ups, and that's nice. Um, wasn't as funny as the insect episode. The insect episode was just probably one of my favorites so far. It was just too good. When 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 he started, if moths had eyes, that was just that that's gonna be forever, forever in my brain. It's just brilliant. But there you go. Anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope whatever you're off to do next, you have a great one. I hope you have a fantastic time. I hope you guys are getting stuff done, man. Progress in life. Do the things you got to do to be happy. Just live it, laugh it, love it, etc. Eat it. <laughs> Always eat. It's important, people. Anyway, I am off watching stuff and things. Guys, toodles. I'll see you very soon. Or technically, you'll see me, which makes a lot more sense. Thank you.